Hello. In this presentation, we'll be going over Pacific wedge plug valves. We'll talk about history and background of the product, how the valve is operated, its design, specifications that the product meets, scope of offering, common applications, how do other valve technologies stack up against the wedge plug, and lastly, inline decoking capabilities. The objective here is to understand the high temperature slurry applications in the refining industry and key customer needs throughout production that can be met with the Pacific wedge plug product offering. With our expertise, we, we can provide application knowledge to link customer needs with crane solutions for end users, licensors, and EPCs in the way coker, SCCUs, and S-Lane Cracker applications. So just a quick history on the wedge plug products. The wedge plug valve first came around nearly 100 years ago, back in 1927. The design of the product was conjured up by an FCC plant engineer in Louisiana who sought to find a valve solution that could withstand the rigors of catalyst service and fluid cat cracking units. This engineer developed a non-lubricated lift turn plug valve that would fit, rotate, and reseat the plug in just a single motion. And after many years of manufacturing, Stockholm valve and fittings came in and acquired wedge plug back in 1952. And eventually down the road, the Stockholm product line was acquired by Crane Co. And the product was eventually moved to Pacific Valve. Pacific Valve has a long history of excellence, spanning over 80 years of designing and developing valves for critical service applications. Pacific's line of pressure seal, wedge plug, and HF acid valves have a proven track record of meeting and exceeding the needs for the refining, chemical, and power markets. Pacific wedge plugs achieve unparalleled service life in the most troublesome valve applications, including those found in SCCU, delayed coking, ethylene cracking, and asphalt production. The Pacific wedge plug was engineered with ease of operation in mind. With just a few turns of the hand wheel, the plug lifts vertically away from the seats from anywhere from an eighth of an inch to a half inch, depending on size and pressure class. Now that the plug is fully off the seat, a few more turns of the hand wheel easily and effortlessly rotates the plug 90 degrees with no rubbing, no contact of the seat and plug. And after completing the 90 degree rotation of the plug, a few more turns of the hand wheel allow the plug to mechanically thrust into the seat for a leak tight shutoff. The Pacific wedge plug design offers an industry leading low steam usage and zero steam consumption when not actuating. This allows the valve to deliver superior operational savings and reduce total cost of ownership. When the plug is in the fully closed position, there is no flow of purge steam, which aids in reducing steam cost, increasing downstream process yields, and helps with reducing system corrosion rates. As the valve is actuated and the plug lifts off the seat, this allows the purge steam to flow and protect and clean the seats of any process media. The purge steam will continue to flow until the plug is fully rotated and seated back into the seat. All wedge plug valves are supplied with a unique wedge torque operator, which makes it possible for the plug to operate in a lift turn manner, which prevents seat rubbing and wear, as well as to ensure optimum torque seating. Single operation to open the valve by turning the handle counterclockwise, the fast acting wedge torque lifts the plug away from the seat, rotates 90 degrees, and reseat the plug in the open position within 30 to 60 turns. In a similar manner, to close the valve, the handle is turned clockwise, the fast acting wedge torque then lifts the plug, rotates 90 degrees, and receives the plug in the close position in about 30 to 60 turns. The wedge plug design provides lower torque requirements due to the lift turn operations that allow no rubbing or contact of the plug and seat during operation, which aids in lower actuation costs. In addition to the valves being gear operated, the valves can be actuated either by electric, hydraulic, or pneumatic actuators. The Pacific wedge plug has a simple design, yet extremely effective and extremely rugged. The four main wedded parts of the wedge plug consist of the body, the bonnet, the plug, and the stem. The body features dual integral metal seats, which provide metal-to-metal, bidirectional line sealing. The raised seats are completely protected from the process flow when fully open or fully closed. There are no cavities to prevent process buildup, no leak paths behind the seat, and no thermal expansion problems. 
Inherently fire safe, a single wedge plug valve provides double block and bleed service. It can be provided in connections such as raised face flanges, ring joint, flat face flanges, butt weld, screwed in, socket weld ends, or hubs. The taper plug is precision ground from hard and high alloy material or an overlaid stainless to ensure a tight seal and easy operation. The hardened or overlaid surfaces resist damage from the most severe service during operation of the valve for years of predictable service. The unique lift and turn operation of the wedge plug valve allow the valve to operate with virtually no rubbing or contact of the seats and plug. Since there is no contact during lift and turning, and since the seats are protected from the process flow when the valve is either fully open or fully closed, there is no need for overlay on the seats. The seats are integral cast as part of the body and are machined and then ground to a mirror-like finish to match the plug for a tight metal-to-metal -metal sealing. Special metallurgy and hard-facing services are available and can be furnished upon customer request. The bonnet. The bonnet is the top entry to the body, which allows inline disassembling repairability. Plug, stem, yoke, actuator can be removed as a single unit for inspection, cleaning, and repair. This is a significant cost and maintenance benefit, especially for valves sizes 12 inch and larger. With a top pullout design, this allows the body to stay in the piping while the top works are removed for inspection, hydroblasted, and just for general maintenance. This helps in reducing rigging and pipe work costs, ensuring the turnaround schedule, and reduces the overall cost of maintenance throughout the life of the valve. This is seen as significant benefit for valves larger than size 12 inch. The wedge plug is a great product for longevity and low cost of maintenance and ownership. As mentioned earlier, the simple design allows for metal-to-metal -metal contact with bidirectional sealing capabilities. As always, protected from process flow and fully open or closed. The integral seats eliminate cavities behind the seats, secondary leak paths, or thermal expansion issues. And as you can see from the graphics here, and either fully open or fully closed, the seat surfaces are fully protected from erosive process media, which aids in extending the life cycle and reliability of the valve. Specific wedge plug valves are available in a wide range of configurations, sizes, and pressure classes. The Pacific wedge plug is offered in pressure classes 150 through 900 pounds, in sizes half inch and all the way up to 36 inch. The valve can be manufactured in either flange, threaded, or butt weld. It can be offered in 70%, 90%, or 100% port sizes, dependent on the application. Pacific wedge plug is offered in a wide range of metallurgies, from carbon steel to the chrome alloys, the stainless steels, and even the exotic alloys. Designed to the requirements of the API 598, 599, ASME B165, ASME B1610, and of course ASME B1634. The valves have also been fire tested to standards such as API 607 and 6FA. If there is a special request that is outside the norm, please contact your local Pacific rep and we'll be happy to provide a solution. The Pacific wedge plug has a long history of success in delayed coker application. The valve is a great candidate for applications such as transfer feed lines, coker drum vapor lines, isolation blowdown systems, fractionator lines, recycle lines. Wherever there is an application where process valves are impacted by the negative effects of wear, which ultimately leads to poor performance and life cycle, the wedge plug sealing design, which allows the seat to be fully protected during operation, coupled with the frictionless operation, gives the wedge plug the upper hand to combat these hardest conditions. And here's just a quick partial customer list. This reference list is a sampling of users who've had wedge plug valves in critical service coker applications for a minimum of 15 years. There are thousands of wedge plug valves installed in critical service coker facilities worldwide. With fluid cat cracking, wedge plug has seen success in dry catalyst storage hoppers, transfer lines, thermally boilers and exchangers, slurry pump lines, generator lines, reactor transfer lines, reformer feed lines, fractionator column bottoms. Wherever there is erosive flurries, high temperature applications, always think about specific wedge plug valves. So how do other valves out there fare in these types of applications? Let's take a look at the gate valve. With gate valves having a longer stem and outside screw and yoke assembly, the valve is more prone to excessive packing wear, which is not so much the case of wedge plug to the valve having a simple operation, shortened stem that doesn't cause too much wear on the packing. With a gate valve, the seat and wedge are directly exposed to flow when open. So these items are gonna be more prone to erosion, which will greatly impact the reliability of the valve. Of course, there will be pockets and areas where the process will be built up. And lastly, by design, there will be continued steam purge, which will lead to higher operating costs. 
Similar to the previous slide, the double disc gate valves have a very long riding stem, which will lead to packing wear, which will lead to more maintenance and more rigging cost. Multiple parts of the design with multiple areas of coke buildup and quench oil buildup can be difficult to operate. And also with the continuous steam purge, it's going to increase the operating cost, which is why wedge plug is always a good candidate for these type of applications. With butterfly valves, seed and disc directly are exposed to flow when open. So the valve will be more prone to erosion on the seat and disc. We'll see process buildup on the ceiling areas and will be expensive due to no inline repairability. It can be difficult to open up when quench oil is present. And will also require continued steam purge, which again will increase operating cost. Ball valves have many complicated and many parts. Many areas for process buildup. More parts lead to more failures, constant rubbing and seat wear, more cavities for coke to build up upon, higher operating torque, which leads to large and expensive operators, significant turns of the hand wheel, wear damage to ceiling surface, and the valve is not inline repairable. So again, more cost of rigging, more maintenance cost, more repairs. With a coker unit, several issues can occur, whether it's steam perch failure, unexpected change in feedstock, temperature fluctuations, coke buildup, and much more. Valves will eventually coke up. So the question is, should you shut down the unit? With wedge plug valves, you can decoke without shutting down the unit, and that involves having the steam purge on while the valve is in the open position. With the plug lifted, the turning operation of the wedge torque will produce significant amounts of torque that will aid in breaking up the coke. Repeating these actions several times, eventually the valve will be free of coke buildup. That is why wedge plug valves have been used for high temperature slurry services since 1927. With its unique design, superior reliability, and the ability to combat challenging conditions, wedge plug continues to be a top choice for high temperature slurry applications. For more information, please contact John Lundy at jlundy at cranecpe.com.